Good morning. So we are off to Freshfield Farms to stock up a little bit, get some fish, some salmon. And we're off to a late start. Hopefully it won't take us long to get there since there should be no traffic on the interstate. I debated whether I want to take the interstate because of the construction that's going on and I don't know if they've changed the traffic patterns and all of that since I've been gone. I didn't really pay attention. They talk about it on the news, but I didn't pay attention to any of the changes. So, fingers crossed between here and where I need to get off the interstate, it won't be too bad. Those rings hanging out. And I, oh, it's a fire over there or something. And I placed an order um, for Walmart to pick up in the morning. Did you hear that? I placed an order for to pick up from Walmart in the morning. So if you need to add anything, we got until like one something in the morning to add it. So that's going to be my big one and I'm getting I'm starting to get hurricane supplies too so I don't want to wait until the last minute under the circumstances and they're already talking about meat shortages even though we don't really need that much meat we don't eat that much meat so I think we'll be fine I just need to get a few more non-perishables and start stocking up on bottled water and I need to look into I had looked at it while we were gone because my mom had to get something from Home Depot and while we were in there I looked at the water filtration I want to get um, the reverse osmosis thing put on my kitchen sink so that um, I don't have to keep buying water. I can just buy the filters. And I think it's, it will work out better. I mean, it's, the filters are fairly expensive, but I think it would save me on a little bit. Plus, it's probably better for the environment without all the bottles. But I don't usually buy like the individual bottles of water. I buy gallons, but still because I just take the whole gallon and put it in the refrigerator. And that way, when I was buying individual bottles, it would be water bottles ending up all over the house or partially full or empty water bottles, however you wanna look at it, um, everywhere. And it was just wasting water, so, and my money, and making more waste, so. The weather is shockingly nice this morning. It's good to have a break from the oven that we've been in for the past few days. It's really nice. I went to bed kind of, kind of early. And I woke up kind of early, started uploading my video, and got, I had had my seven hours with the mask on. So I took it off and went back to sleep. And then my video didn't upload properly. I don't know what happened. I bet Suki walked on the computer, even though I fed her when I first woke up. I think I woke up around five. I fed her then, hoping that she wouldn't walk on the computer while my video was uploading. But I think she did and something happened so I re-uploaded it before I left home and it finished processing so I can finish setting it up when I get back but I've been on a roll knock on wood hopefully I won't jinx myself getting these videos done I do feel a little bit tired more tired than I was and it's funny the way the allergies treat me when I'm at my mom's house is different. I'm tired but I think I'm more 
or my head is more clear. But the way it is here, it's like a foggy tiredness. It's more, I don't know, it's more heavy on me than the dog allergy stuff. If that makes any sense. It kind of makes me wonder, is there something wrong with the air in my house? <laughs> I didn't even set foot outside yesterday and so I don't think so. Nope. I sure didn't. Why is Popo up here? What's going on over there? Let's see what's changed up here since we've been gone. Okay, this is different. <laughs> Off rip. Oh, and there's a giveaway going on over at Scrapcraft Tastic on the channel. Um, I found some more pin and gear stuff while I was gone, and I didn't say anything. I kept it under wraps until I got home. And so I'm doing it, I'm get, giving it away. Um, and I have another giveaway coming up this weekend so stay tuned why is Trapper back up aren't we on the quarantine where are these people going well I guess the quarantine is lifted I don't know I don't know I know we got phases of things well I guess it is lifted I wonder is there still a curfew though not that I'm going anywhere during the curfew times I'm just curious Curiouser and curiouser. I need to get me some sundresses or something. Some really cool dresses because I want to stay cool this summer. And these t shirts are hot. It's like as soon as I get in the house, I'm coming out of it putting on a tank top. drive-through Starbucks over here, but there isn't one anymore. And I don't know where they moved it to. I'm Surely they don't intend for people to use the Starbucks and Target to replace that one. So we'll see. 
So we're just right up the block from where we're going. I'm gonna stop this here and I will catch y'all on the other side. Okay, we're out. Julian went in with me. He was, Mask. Hmm? Mask. I know, I'm gonna take it off when I back out. Um, He went with me. We masked up. At first I thought nobody in there had on a mask. But when we got up there and got in line, yes, there was a line, but it was moving fast. I was a little like, because the parking lot is jammed, packed, and I haven't been here when it was like this in a long time. It's not as bad as it can be, but it's looking like a Saturday morning over here. Um, let me tell you something. But yeah, so... um. The line moved fast. It was very efficient. I don't think we were staying six feet apart in there, but it's any on a regular day when you go in there, it's like a line that goes around the store. And um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so I pretty much just got in the line that goes around the store. Even though I don't stop at all the places, I'm not sure that I got enough. And after I was checking out at the vegetable stand part of it, I was like, oh, this road is so raggedy. I was thinking maybe I should have called my dad and asked him, did he need anything? But I can still add his stuff to my grocery order. So if he needs anything just like take it over there and drop it off on the porch or something like that I'm doing just what you're doing dude going all the way around the circle so now we're going to Starbucks in Winter Park that's like the only one that I know that's close that has a drive through I don't know if they're open. When I just looked on the app, it said they have more stores open to serve us better. So we'll see. If that one's not open, there's one further up the street. You know, some of them are saying that they were open on the 4th and 5th, right? Yeah, but I didn't want to go on the 4th and 5th. No, I know. Oh, that they were opening. Yeah, but we're going to the one that went apart and... Chipotle is open. I kind of want some Chipotle. I spent a lot in the vegetable stand store. I spent a lot in both stores, actually. We have no reason not to eat at home other than outright and out and outright laziness. I didn't even, I spent about the same in both stores. Because usually I don't spend that much in the vegetable store because everything is fairly inexpensive. But it's probably all those grapes <laughs> that we bought that jacked it up. I wonder do I have to wait in the car when I go to get to the doctor next week I'm curious to know I already have it um, a notification set up on my phone to give me a week advance notice and it went off the other day so I guess they'll be calling me Friday or Monday to confirm my appointment maybe they'll wait until Tuesday I don't know it's been a long time since we've been over here. It reminds me of ballet. Kind of miss going over there. <sighs> a little bit. We're over here by Pulse. The club Pulse where the mass shooting was. When that happened, we were in Ohio on a family vacation. We couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. Black building right there. Mm -hmm. 
with all the pictures and signs and stuff on the front. Did you shut it down? Yeah, it's not open. It's gonna, I think it's supposed to be like a memorial. I don't know. Wow. We've been through a lot in this country. That's a lot. I need to figure out a way to preserve mushrooms. And I think I need to delete them off of my Walmart order because I got a huge container of them. Not huge, but it's bigger than what I would have got at Walmart and fresher. And I got to pick it out instead of somebody else just grabbing the first thing. Oh, I made the skillet lasagna. I don't know. I think I'd rather... It didn't seem that much easier to me than just making regular old lasagna. Um, the only difference is I don't, I don't ever use the um, no, no boil noodles. I always boil my noodles and everything um, when I make lasagna. So <laughs> the only difference was you didn't have to boil the noodles. You just put them in the sauce. Other than that, you do the same amount of work. Because you still got to make your ricotta mixture and all of that. It's the same. It's just you do basically one layer instead of multiple layers in a, in a lasagna pan. I don't, I mean, and it was good, but it was, tastes just like regular lasagna. I think it's just the gimmick of cooking it on top of the stove and the skillet, really. And it takes just as long to cook. So... And then if you want it browned on the top, which I don't care about that part, <clears throat> but if you want it browned on the top, then you have to put it in the oven. So that kind of defeats the purpose of skillet lasagna if you gotta put it in the oven to brown it. Um, I don't know. I guess I would do it again in a pinch, but Y'all wanna go yes. Lake Eola? Are there loud people over there? I said y'all wanna go to Lake Eola. When it's colder or at night, sure. It's cold. This is cold as it's gonna get. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Like in the wintertime? Yeah. No. Downtown is not that busy. At all. Usually all of this right here will be backed up this time of the day. There's like nobody at the traffic light. We exploring. You call? Do I want a frappuccino or do I want a ice americano? Or do I want both? So, Starbucks is open. They got their drinks. Dude. Show your drink, Julian. Dude. And I'm waiting on mine. It's weird. Are we going to wear masks for the rest of our lives? I seen a meme the other day. It was like people. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Jesus. And this is mine. I'm going to start having to get one of those. Um, <laughs> I started to get you a venti. Dang. That'd be nice. Mm. I seen a meme. And it was everybody in 10s in 2020 be like. And it was the 10. But um, mask was in the way. So like. So what now? 
I have to find it. I took a screenshot. Give me that yum yum. I know. I don't even know that song. You don't know. I don't like Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard snippets of it. I haven't. They actually played that song on Good Morning America the other morning. That's where I heard it at. Ten lines and oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they played that yummy yummy song on the food segment on Good Morning America. I think it was yesterday. I was like, "That's so inappropriate." So disgraceful. They should never. <laughs> I'm like, do y'all understand what you're doing? That is very watery. That's what I said. Is your is your water? Never mind. You go for the whipped cream. See, like we can see it. It's so okay. I ain't had one of them in ever. Yeah. I don't know when. I should start keeping a record of what drinks I get yeah. when at Starbucks. So Whole Foods is open. Do they have grocery bin that? Basically, the only things that are not open are like clubs, sporting and concert events, whatever. The event centers, the amusement parks are not open. Definitely the um, personal care services are not open. And I think that might be it. Because it looks like everybody else is open. One of my friends picked the worst time to get a job. Hmm. You lucky they got a job. <clears throat> I feel like I need to go to Home Oh, that's what I wanted to go to Home Depot for, but I can't go. I'm going to have to order that to get our um, reverse osmosis thing. For the water, so I don't have to buy water anymore. Oh. Like mommy's. But probably not as extravagant as hers. A little more simpler. I wonder if I could install it on the sink myself. <clears throat> I need to start getting real handy. Because with them YouTube videos and wiki how it gets you there. Mm -hmm. I just, I know I can do all of this stuff. But I just didn't want to. I don't want to. You choose you not to. Yeah. There's a blank. If you look on the sink, there's a blank hole there. It's just covered up with like a a piece of plastic or whatever. Oh. A blank and I can just pop that out and put the so it's faucet a little, in there. Hmm? So it's a little thingy that we saw that you said was expensive. Is that the filter? Yeah, it's like a two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because that way we won't have contaminated ice either. Because <clears throat> when you fill up the ice trays, you would use the. We still get contaminated either way. No, but. No, about the ice. That's what right I'm saying. Now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like we drink bottled water, but we use faucet water for ice. That makes no sense. That's why I kind of started putting everything in the refrigerator, the drinks to get them cold, so we wouldn't use ice as much. I be trying to look out for y'all, even though y'all don't think so. I don't want you contaminated. Contaminated. I think that mm -hmm. coconut oil stuff, the two, that works. 
It does. Oh, the Palmers. Moisturized. What else good? Ooh. I got it. <laughs> well, at least you found something that's working for you. I still have yet to find anything other than the curl enhancer, but I think I need something that's more moisturizing. But I don't like that because it made my hair feel weird, tacky, sticky, icky, icky. Oh yeah, see, I like I rubbed it again, like so it wouldn't like be white chunks. So I rubbed it like that. It worked better than oil. But um, yeah, it it could not. It could that could be okay. I might try it again. It might be because I tried that Carol's Daughter stuff first and then put the Palmer stuff on top. I don't like that Carol's Daughter stuff. I should just make my own concoction. I just don't have the patience. What's the other one? The little tiny one in the bottle? Yeah, that's Carol's Daughter. I'm gonna try the Palmer's stuff one more time and see. So I'm gonna wash my hair. So does anybody know with natural hair, how often are you actually supposed to comb it completely out? Am I supposed to just comb it completely out um, every day? Because if I am, I'm gonna have to get my locks back. <laughs> Cause that is a lot of work to comb all this hair out. It's not like it's a lot of hair, but to comb it out is hard work, time consuming. I like to wake up in the morning and do what I gotta do and get my day started and not be playing around with combing out hair. Hmm? Well, see, <laughs> you can easily solve your problem. Easy. I can solve mine by locking it. That's what I did the first time when I had locks. I let my um, relaxer grow out thinking, oh, I'm going to rock some natural hair. Free, not locked or braided. <laughs> that didn't work. I couldn't even get the comb through that stuff. So I was like, I don't have no choice. I'm locking it because I'm not going to be fighting with this every day. My hair is softer and more manageable than it was then. So you can, it was like, probably looked like Nate's back then. Nate's hair is nappy. That's cause Nate don't comb his hair. <laughs> and he don't comb his hair probably for the same reason that I decided to get locks. It's too hard. People say like my face matches like it goes with my hair because um somebody asked me something about my hair a while ago and i was like yeah i used to have braids back in, in my younger days those were the days and they say really your hair like your locks go better with your face features i'm like mm, okay <laughs> not what you wanted to hear oh lord of mercy on my soul how many chickens you done stole this air condition is getting cold to me. You think it's not cold? I'm cold. I'm drinking cold drinks. I was cold before. That's why I kept asking you, are you cold? Well, that was good. Oh, so, tomorrow's grocery pickup is between 9 and 10. If y'all plan on going. Just so you know. I'm going to be up anyway. Julian, are you going? Are you staying home? Well, I'm not going nowhere after this. If they can't deliver it, we won't get it. So, are you sure? I do miss going to the um, Dollar Tree on Edgewater. And I definitely miss my walks around Michael's. Give me some gas. What the, do we have gas? Ooh, maybe I should buy some gas. 
That one is 169 down the street. I ain't gonna buy nothing today. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> but when I come back out tomorrow, we can get some. Just remind me, don't let me forget. Don't wanna have to be walking home. It's so good to be home, y'all. And it's a nice cool day. That means I could be in the craft lab without I mean <sighs> sweating to death. Leave the screen door open in case it was. Oh, we night. need to go to Family Dollar. <gasps> yeah! I need to turn right around and go to Family Dollar right now. Oh, wait, no. Go to the house because I need to get my mask. Okay, well, we'll take the groceries out. We'll put them up because they got cold stuff. Why you didn't bring your mask I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But I'm going to go get a couple of new fans since that one fan is broke and we needed another one anyway. So I need to have two fans. And we might as well go on and get them while we out and contaminated already. What time is it? Yeah, Eleven thirty-four. Okay, so we gone. Huh? for what you got. Do the work and play the game. Just make sure the work is right. I don't want no bad grades. I don't know how I'm going to have a hundred instead. Alright, we'll be back. We're going to unload the car, put the groceries up real quick because we got stuff that needs to go in the fridge and freezer. And then we're going to head back out to Family Dollar and get some fans. Okay, so we're off again. It's really a nice day. Whew. Shocking. It's like this is what we need. The, the we need warm more days of like and this. cold. Like I wouldn't mind being outside on a day like today. If we had more days like today, being outside would not be a no-no. And hopefully they have more of those fans. sitting out here.
Anywho, so let's go on up in here and see what we can find. Okay, so we're back. Whew, we got three fans, a bunch of chips. <laughs> okay, something's not closed. Trunk. We'll go check it. All of these boys. I'm cleaning the purse. Oh. So. I don't think it was a trunk. Which one did you open this door? Hmm? Did you open this? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, 12 o'clock alarm is going off. Okay. So yeah, we got all that. Some chippity chips. Because Walmart doesn't have the the good Dorito, the purple Doritos. The good Dorito. They had them at Family Dollar. It costs two cents more a <laughs> bag, but what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Do do. See, that's what gets you the them dollar, the dollar stores and Family Dollar. Actually, they're more expensive. We should start coming back to. But them. because it's a whole number that they charge, it seems Ooh. like it's cheaper. I don't know. We should start coming back here. <laughs> I don't like coming over here. Neither do I, but they have nice clothing. Don't say that to nobody else in public. Who? You. Me. We're talking about Family Dollar got nice clothing, girl. I like the shirts. <laughs> Don't tell nobody that. That's stuff that you. That's kitchen table talk. Stuff you need to keep to yourself. I'm just saying. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Stuff that I'm yeah, it's not bougie. You, you the bougiest of us all, so Who? you should know, Julian. Jasmine um, laughed when I said Julian was too bougie, cause she's saying it's bad that Nate be doing stuff in front of you or whatever, and that's gonna rub off on you and make you more curious. I'm like, um, Julian too bougie to be doing stuff that, <laughs> that Nate does. I just don't <laughs> see it ever happening. No. I could be wrong. People change. What's but it? you stay bougie. That's what I'm saying. You stay bougie. Fuck out here, me get keep, out. Keep you, you out of stay trouble. Stay away from me. Keep you out of trouble. <laughs> Just don't be too bougie, you know? <laughs> Honestly, I think being bougie is not bad because it keeps you out of trouble. I think that makes sense, but just don't be too bougie. I'm bougie about me and mine, but I don't look frown on other people for doing what they do. I find it quite interesting. Um, I just wouldn't do it myself. That's all. That's how I look at it. Like, like my dad says, live and let live. I live and let let people do what they want to do. They ain't got nothing to do with me. For the most part. <laughs> Can't control other people. So they already picked up the trash out there. When they coming to pick up our trash? So we're pulling up to the house now, to the crib, with a K. <laughs> we're pulling up. I give up. So, <laughs> yeah, you should give up. So, that's going to be it for today's vlog. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave me a comment. And I'll holler at y'all next time. Bye.